I need something for my husband. And what's wrong with him? I'm not even Lame, sure. Fatty, Only novels, he's become such a pie, coward. Garlic, onions, he just agrees mushrooms to everything. And asparagus. He doesn't say Come anything right back up. to anyone. No need to be shy. He isn't the man I married. Well, then it's obvious. He doesn't have enough yellow bile in his body. Bile? Of course. Good men, good wives. Come have a look. God be with you, good sir. May the Lord watch over you. Let's have a word about the price. Sure, why not? Agree? That's not enough. Aye, for that. Let's talk about... Aye. What are you after? Not this Satisfied? Time. I'm here for something well, else. Well, now...
Aye, that's all I need. Thanks, and do drop by again. See you now. I knew... Jesus! Has something happened? What else to you, sir? and tinctures, magical of Someone there. God be with you, good sir. Do you know where I can find the master engraver? Oh, yes. He has a workshop by the monastery. Take care now. Good health to you, sir. You must be that lucky fellow everyone's talking about. Lady Luck has been good to me lately. True enough. But that can change quicker than you know. People say that you get help from a lucky charm. Is that not allowed? No, it is. It just interests me, that's all. Why? I could use a paw like that myself. Then go to the knacker. I'm sure he'll get you one. I'd like to try that luck of yours. Let's play for your talisman. Ah. A challenge. Good. But not now. Come and see me when I'm at the tavern. All right. When can I find you there? All the time, my old woman would say. She's not far wrong either. If it's open, I'll be there. Our innkeeper opens before luncheon and closes when he tires of the company. Very well. I'll come and find you. I can't wait. May the Lord watch over you. My respects to you. 
Are you in need of a helping hand, Master Butcher? Up an hand? No. But I've got a problem with supplies. I understand. The roads aren't safe these days. No, that's not what I meant. Beef and pork I can get plenty of. But the burgers here have a taste for aristocratic food. And maybe you can help me with that. You want me to poach game? Heaven forbid I would ever suggest such a thing. No. You would have to get it by, uh, other means. I don't want to spoil your plans, but game doesn't grow on trees. No, but if you happen to be walking in the woods and, uh, came across something, if you see what I mean. All right. Let's say I'll take a walk in the woods and I'll come across something and bring it to you. Excellent. I'm glad to see you speak my language. Get me a wild boar for now, so I can see what you can do. And don't worry, you'll be well rewarded. Take care now. Henry's come to see us. Hey, flat face. See you later. Hey, Henry. I'd like you to teach me how to be better at stealth. Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. Wouldn't you rather learn the basics first? I'm interested in more advanced techniques. Wouldn't you rather learn the basics first? Well, I'll think it over. Goodbye. God be with you. Do you want something? I do. And you look like the kind of fellow who knows a thing or two and wouldn't mind a bit of work that's not entirely... well... honest. What's it about? I'm looking for someone who knows how to dip her pockets. For a... reward, of course. Well, then it's lucky for you that I happened along. Who do you want me to rob? There's a farmer who lives in the craftsman's yard. He made a killing supplying vegetables to the monastery. I worked for him for a while, but then he threw me out without even paying me for my labor. I'd like you to steal the groschen he owes me. And, also, a pouch containing an amulet he got from the herb woman. He's as superstitious as an old crone, so when he realizes he's lost it, he'll have a fit. Sounds easy enough. It ain't quite that easy, otherwise I'd handle it myself. That fucker don't trust no one, and he's always looking over his shoulder. If you manage to nick his pouch and his coin, you can keep the groschen as a reward. May the Lord watch over you.
My respects to you. It doesn't look good. What? What are you talking about? Your tooth. I bet it hurts a lot, doesn't it? How do you know about that? I overheard you in the tavern yesterday. If I were you, I'd let the blacksmith pull it. Why? I knew a man once who was in the same situation as you. His tooth was sore, and he was frightened to have it pulled. And what happened to him? I, uh, I don't know. But I expect it didn't end well. I see. Well, it's true my tooth hurts, but I'm hoping it'll just stop of its own accord. <sighs> Suit yourself. About your tooth. What's your problem? It's clear as day to me. With your tooth in that state, you're just a bloated, ugly pig. It doesn't matter, though, because it won't change that stupid look on your face. What? You little bastard! How dare you! And you smell like a pile of horse manure, but it's the way your breath stinks that really makes me want to throw up. Enough! You'll get what? Good health to you. About that Moldavite we discussed? Yes. Do you have some news? Yes. Uh, the good news is I found Vizek. That sounds like cause for rejoicing, but how come he isn't with you? That's the bad news. He didn't survive. Merciful God. He was a good and highly respected man. I will pray for his soul. Anyway, let me see the stone, if you would be so kind. Of course. Here it is. Excellent. It looks undamaged. I'll get straight to work. You can come for the finished crown tomorrow evening. God be with you.
Jesus Christ be praised. I heard you found something. It's true. I dug it up during work. I then ran away with it and got rid of it so the others wouldn't see. But rumours spread anyway. And what was it that nobody was supposed to see? What do you think? A demon skull. Here. On holy ground, in the middle of the monastery. But it was outside the monastery walls. Where, exactly? Is there anything else there worth seeing? Nothing but scaffolding. We started digging there to set foundations for extending it. And are you sure it was a devil's skull? I know what I saw. I can recognise a human skull. And this one had horns. Like the devil, besides. The thing gave off a diabolical stink. And where is it now? What did you do with it? I... I was taking it down to the river to throw it in. Only I dropped it at the top of the slope and it rolled downhill. The devil alone knows where it ended up. Hmm. I'll see if I can find it. Take care now. Take care now.
This has to be the stone that hit him. I'll take a piece of it. Maybe someone will recognize it.